Welcome back. Kids today are falling behind on math and reading due to COVID. Kyle Walgren, CEO of Itsoma, created a program to use artificial intelligence to help track reading and diction progress in real time. And he joins us now to tell us more about that program. Kyle, good morning. Good, how are you? I'm wonderful, wonderful to have you on Inside South Florida. Let's get to it. Uh, Ed Soma, you're helping, you're helping kids. How was the idea born? Uh, well, actually during COVID, I got separated from uh, two of my children who lived in Canada. So I was looking for a solution to be able to read with them while the borders were shut down. And being a, an adult that suffers from literacy issues, there was nothing that was really um, based around making sure that I could teach my children to read properly. Uh, so I came up with this concept um, in order to use voice recognition to identify weaknesses in readers. And it's just kind of grown from there. Uh, what is the status, Kyle, of illiteracy right now here in the U.S.? Ooh, wow. For adults, there's over 54 million American adults that can't read the basic menu uh, at the at a restaurant. Um, so it's it's quite staggering when you break it down into uh, considering there's only around 340 million people in America. Um, you know, and then during COVID, of course, we sent all of those children to learn from parents that that couldn't teach them. So. Uh, the literacy issues are, are constantly declining. Um, it's actually probably the biggest, <laughs> what I would consider pandemic there is right now. So, Kyle, what are some of those barriers? Because I mean, those, as you said, those, are, those numbers are pretty staggering. From your own research and from your own experience and talking to people about literacy, what do you think the biggest barriers have been to people not being able to read and write effectively? Well, majority of kids, leave, if, the, if you leave grade three, um, not being able to read or write, statistically, you don't actually catch up. Uh, and the majority of your learning for literacy is K through K through third grade. So, um, you know, I think the biggest barrier is just putting in the time. Uh, Reading is one of those things that if you don't do it, you don't get better. Um, so you've got to put in like it with a minimum of 20 minutes a day. You can actually increase your reading a whole grade level in less than eight minutes or eight months. Sorry. So uh, the solutions are rel relatively easy as long as you put in the work. Yeah, you got to put in the work. It's good to know. You're you are, Kyle, collaborating with schools, which is a wonderful thing. Tell us about that. Yeah, so we're currently working with uh, primarily um, private and charter schools. It's been the easiest cost of entry for us. Um, but we also just partnered with a company called Metametrics, which is uh, provides Lexile scoring in 22 states across America. So that's the industry standard. So if you're in grade three and read at a grade one reading level, that's a Lexile score. So with this partnership, we'll be the first company in the world that can provide you a real time Lexile score to be able to match the parent or the child with content that they need to actually grow and advance their literacy uh, skills. It's so awesome that there are so many resources for for everything, right? That you can that you can really engage with and experience to improve your just your overall quality of life and literacy and being literate absolutely lends itself to a better quality of life. Uh, where can we go for more info on Edsoma? Um, it's, well, we have everything on our website right now, and we're actually giving away Android and iOS versions for trial on our website. So it's Edsoma E D E D S O M A dot com, um, and just go to our uh, subscribe button, and we'll walk you through it.